what I've noticed is that the boxing world wants to alienate Devin Haney. They want to alienate him. They want to, they want this man. They want him out of boxing. This is very clear to me. Let's talk. Straighter, yep, the, not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot is the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, that you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Best fight the best if you ain't with the moto. Just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried. Too many come, but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'm a laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the bands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Can you guys tell me why only Devin Haney's pay per views matter? This is the only thing that matters in the sport of boxing right now is Devin Haney's pay-per-views. It's, it's the only thing when I'm talking about like for a fighter deserving a fight. The only thing that matters is that Devin Haney only did 50,000 pay-per-views according to Rick Glazer. <laughs> Another guy who gets paid. You guys care what Rick Glazer says when Rick Glazer shits on Devin Haney because you guys want Devin Haney gone. When Rick Glazer said that Tank Davis did 51,000 pay-per-view buys and 52,000 pay-per-view buys respectively in two different fights, you guys shitted on Rick Glazer. Oh, Rick is, man, Rick is lying. Rick Glazer ain't nothing. Rick Glazer's a racist. Rick Glazer's this. But when it came to Devin, he was telling the truth immediately. His sources was the same. Some white man sitting in an apartment somewhere in Las Vegas. That's his source. Some white man sitting in an apartment in Las Vegas told Rick Glazer that this is what it was and he told the world. And all of a sudden now his word is bombed. His word is, is gold when it comes to Devin because y'all want Devin out the sport of boxing. There's an assault on this man. Y'all do not want this man in the sport of boxing. Nobody does. No one. Floyd Mayweather does not want Devin in the sport of boxing. I don't give a damn what Floyd, oh man, listen, no Floyd, uh, I, 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 want, I, I like all these fighter, fighters, uh, uh, I support all these young fighters. Uh, uh, uh. No, you don't. You tried to sign um, Shakur Stevenson and you was dick riding Shakur. How come Floyd isn't speaking about Shakur Stevenson right now? Because Shakur Stevenson said he's not signing with you. Now, all of a sudden, you don't give a damn what he's doing. <laughs> but before that, you was, Shakur, Shakur, Shakur. Uh, 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 I, I think Devin, just because Devin uh, did uh, a bad deal. Doesn't mean he got to, uh, doesn't mean Shakur got to do it. And, but you did it. You did a bad deal with Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> but yet we're talking about Devin just because Devin did it. But when Devin did it, and you, and you blatantly, blatantly come out here and tell the world these things. Uh, well, listen, uh, like I said before, you know, not fighting, not coming back to boxing. But uh, like I said before, uh, you know, you, you, you got to be willing to, uh, to bet on yourself. I done it. I, 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 I done it when, when I when I did it when I done it. Uh, well, Oscar De La Hoya. I I I, I took a, a small bit and he took all the money and, and I did that, you know, because I knew after that I, I'll never have to. Do it. Okay, so why are you telling Shakur to not do it? If you did it, if it was good enough for you to do it, then why are you telling Shakur to not do it? 
Where was Sugar Ray Leonard telling Oscar De La Hoya, hey, Oscar, don't listen. Oh, what, what, you know, he's a, Oscar's a good fighter. You know, um, I would have knocked him out. But, you know, um, uh, I don't think you should be uh, uh, doing that to Floyd Mayweather. Where was that at? Where was this? Where was Sugar Ray Leonard? He never said anything about it. Nothing. Floyd, if you wanted that fight, you wanted Oscar. So you did what you had to do to get him. And then you told Shakur to not do it. <laughs> you told the world to not do it. Then you come out here and talk about how Devin is not a star. There's only three stars. Canelo, because Canelo bigs you up. Tank, because Tank bigs you up. And Ryan Garcia, because you was walking with Ryan Garcia and he bigs you up. This has nothing to do with Floyd. Floyd oh, well, you know, there's only really three stars in sport of boxing right now. There's only three stars. There's only three. And then you name two of them who were tied to you forever. And one of them who was walking with you. Brian was standing right next to you. So the, the, so the only three biggest stars, the, three, the only three stars in boxing are Canelo, Tank, and Ryan. Those are the only three stars. <laughs> you do realize that that's a low-key, that's an underhand diss to Tank Davis. It's an underhand diss. Because if you're saying that Ryan is a star, then you're undercutting Gervonta Tank Davis's drawing power. From the fight when he fought Ryan. Yeah, you're undercutting him. Because Ryan Garcia has never done a pay-per-view without Tank Davis. Never. He's done one pay-per-view his entire career. And it was with Tank Davis. <laughs> That's the only one he's ever did. So you're low-key undercutting Tank by saying that Ryan is a star. Is all Ryan and Tank are stars. No, Tank is. Ryan is not. Tank is. Yeah, this is me saying this. Ryan is not a star. No, he is not a star. No, he's not. Because if Ryan Garcia was a star, then Ryan Garcia's last fight would have been on pay-per-view. It would not have been on free TV. Ryan Garcia is not a star. Ryan Garcia is an insta he's an IG model. He's a thought. That's what he is. But since you was with him and it bigs you up, Floyd don't give a damn about these fighters, man. Don't care about none of these guys. At all. Floyd cares about him. He says it's all about money. It's about money, money, money. No, he's caring, but he cares about his legacy too. He don't want nobody to be no 50 and up, 51 and up. He don't want that. No, because that takes, uh, uh, records are made to be broken. And then he'll be the same one and say, uh, uh, God, God didn't make nothing perfect. But my boxing resume. Yeah, dude is a fucking blatant narcissist. But the simple fact that he has to say that Devin is not a star says it all. It says it all. So Devin's not a star. Tank's a star. Ryan's a star and Canelo's a star. But Devin is not a star. Ooh, so why isn't Ryan all of his fights on pay-per-view? Why aren't y'all capitalizing on that star power? Why isn't the networks capitalizing on that star power? Why isn't anybody capitalizing on that star power? Why did it take Ryan Garcia to capitalize on Tank's star power for Ryan's only pay-per-view? Why did that happen? But yet, I know you guys are not going to say nothing about that because, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather was shitting on Devin. So as long as he was disrespecting Devin, it's okay. You're, it's okay to say that. But tell Tank that. Go, you guys run a Tank and tell Tank that Ryan's a star. Ryan's a, he's the only, there's only three stars. Tank, Ryan, and Canelo. Go, go tell Tank that. Why, let's see what he says. Let's see if he agrees with you. I bet you he won't. <laughs> I bet you he'll be like, cap, you're full of shit. I think ain't no star. I think ain't no fucking star. Well, how much? What's his pay per views? What he sell? I guarantee you, that's what Tank would say. Guarantee he's a star. Says who? Because he got IG followers. Well, his IG followers don't equal dollars. Because if that's the case, why isn't he fighting on pay per view? Yeah, that's what Tank will say. That's what Tank's team will say. If they're, if you guys are, matter of fact, that's what Tank team did say when they were talking about, oh, Tank is the draw. When Oscar De La Hoya was saying, I mean, uh, Canelo was the draw. Uh, uh, Ryan's the draw. I mean. Ryan is the one that sold that fight. Tank never did. The reason why that fight did a million is because of Ryan. Yeah, when Oscar De La Hoya was saying that, Tank fans was like, oh, yeah, you're lying. What's his other pay-per-views? Why doesn't he fight on pay-per-view? And if he's just drawing, if it was because of him, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's what y'all said. Exactly what y'all said. But now y'all are in kumbaya, holding hands, hands across the world. We are the world when it comes to shitting on Devin because you want him gone.
is a threat to y'all. You want him gone because you know he will beat the shit out of Tank. Oh no, BF, he won't. No, he won't. Tank knocks him. Tank stops him. Tank cracked him. Tank, you, he won't. He won't. But Tank won't nothing. Tank won't do nothing. Tweet and delete. And then you guys are like, come on, BF. He always tweets and deletes. He always. He's an all. He always tweets and deletes. Trevante is a tank. Abdul Wahid is a phenomenal fighter. Phenomenal. He just don't want no work with Devin. That's it. And you guys can't fucking admit that. But whatever. Whatever. Y'all want Devin gone so bad. And that's really the main reason why you want him gone. Because of Abdul Wahid. That's why you want him gone. Nothing else. Nothing else. I don't care about Shakur Stevenson. Y'all stop talking about that man. The second Devin moved up. Y'all don't give a damn about Shakur. You don't care about no Lomachenko. This man blatantly ducked Tank Davis. Tank Davis is not the WBA super champion. So if Lomachenko was in the WBA, he would be Tank Davis's fucking mandatory. Facts. And Tank would have to fight him. Facts. Blatantly ducked Tank Davis. You guys ain't saying nothing about it. Don't worry about it. Yo, I'll, 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 I'll dive into this later date. Y'all don't even care though. But don't worry. I'll dive into a later date. But here we are. Y'all want Devin Gaunt. You hate Devin. You despise Devin. You sit here and told me all over and over again about how Devin should send a contract. He's the beast. Yeah, he's. Well, first you told me that Devin ain't the A side. Devin can't dictate nothing. You got Leonard Ellaby coming out here talking about how Devin can't dictate. Tank's the A side. Tank will fight who he wants to fight, when he wants to fight. He deserves it. He earns it. He's the face of boxing. He does this and he does that. If, if and when Tank wants to fight anybody, Tank will send a contract. That's what Leonard Ellaby said. And then you guys came right back out here and double dipped on it on the other side. Well, Devin can send one. But his team is saying that Devin can't send one. His team is saying Devin don't dictate nothing. Devin can't send anything to Tank. That's what his team is saying. And you guys ran with it. That's right. You right, man. Devin can't. Who is Devin? Devin ain't nobody. Don't nobody know Devin. Devin can't even punch. Devin can't even punch. So who, who does he think he is? I think he can, he can uh, uh, send Tank an offer. He can't send Tank nothing. He, can't, he don't dictate nothing. And then you went right back around and double dipped on the other side. You licked the other side of Oreo cookie. And well, Devin can send a contract. Devin can send something. Canelo, Canelo was the A side, and Devin can send something. Devin, Devin can send. Why is it Devin said? And Devin can send something. And then when Devin does send something, you go back to the other side of the cookie. Man, he can't dictate. Call Al. <laughs> Devin can't dictate. Who is Devin? Devin can't dictate nothing. Who does Devin think he is? Call Al. If you want to fight, then you know to call Al. If you want to fight, you can't dictate nothing. Who you think you are? Just call Al and get in line. You know what it is. I'm sitting here like, wait a minute. But you guys saying that the promoters are the ones that mess in the box and the promoters and the managers and all these motherfuckers is the one. Y'all said the same thing about Al Heyman. You shitted on Al Heyman for years. Oh, man, Al Heyman, dude. Al Heyman don't want it. Al Heyman holding up this fight. Al Heyman stopping this fight. It's Al Heyman stopping this fight. So why the fuck would anybody? Whatever. <laughs> whatever, dog. This is bonkers to me. And, and this is no beef to Al Heyman. I think Al Heyman is a very a very shrewd and, and, and great businessman. Very shrewd and great. But if the the in order to be in the business of boxing and stay in the business of boxing, you don't put your fighter in there with someone that will beat his ass. It's not what you do. It's not what you do. And if you're all and if you are gonna do that. Then you build this man and maximize the potential on the fight in the hope that he wins. That's what you do. You maximize the, you maximize the fight. You maximize the potential in the hope that he wins. Because if, that, if your fighter wins, well, then it's a win-win for you. But if your fighter loses, at least you maximize the potential, the potential to get the biggest bag to squeeze the juice paws out of the fight as much as you can. That's shrewd business. I don't got no beef with the man being a shrewd businessman at all. But at the same token, I am the best fight the best. So we, we, your shrewd businessman and best fighting the best will bump heads because I don't give a damn about your business. I don't care. All I care about is the best fighting the best. That's all I care about, which is Devin and Tank. That is the best fighting the best. Y'all motherfuckers keep telling me all this goofy ass shit about weights, but you know, it's all, it's all good. I'll go into that another, another time. I'll go into that another time. And, and cause you motherfuckers will tell me this shit over and over and over again about how, oh gosh. Oh, Devin's so big. Devin's so paused. Devin so, he weighs so much. But y'all weren't saying that when he was at 135. Nobody was talking about Devin's weight at 135. And as a matter of fact, you were saying Devin's drained. Devin can't make the weight. You knew he couldn't make the, the weight. You knew he was drained. You knew he looked like a skeleton on his skin. I don't remember any of you motherfuckers talking about, oh, man, no, Devin needs to move up. No, what you were saying is Devin needs to stay there and fight Tank. He just needs to stay there. 
Just sit there. Just stay there and fight Shakur. So you wanted Devin to fight at a disadvantage? You fucking hate that man. You absolutely hate him. You wanted him to fight at a disadvantage. You didn't say this about Giovanni Tank Davis. You didn't say, hey, Tank, why'd you go to 135 to get a belt at 35? If you're going to fight, if you're going to make a 26-pounder going to 130 to fight you, why don't you just stay right there at 130 and fight Leo Santa Cruz? Why don't you just do this? You didn't say that. You said he was great. You said Tank's great for knocking out a guy that moved up from 118 pounds. Yeah, he's great, man. This guy's fantastic, man. Although he weighed 152 on fight night and you guys still don't say anything. The man put on 22 pounds and y'all still don't say nothing. You're A-OK -okay with a 152-pounder a fighting a 118-pounder. You're A-OK -okay with it. You ain't got no problem. But let it be Devin. Oh, you want Tank to fight some guy who weighs a, he's a, he's a, a 168 pounds. Oh, my God. Because you hate Devin. Same breath, you'll lick the side of the Oreo cookie and be like, Tank knocks out heavyweights in sparring. Man, Tank be knocking him out, man. Tank can crack. Man, Tank can punch, so he punch so hard. Tank knock out heavyweights, man. He be stopping middleweights. He be, man, he be stopping cruiserweights. He be stopping them, man. He hit so hard, man. His skill, he's so skilled, man. His bag is so deep. He's such a great boxer, and he's such a great puncher, man. He be stopping heavyweights in sparring, man. He be knocking him out. And then you go right to the other side of the Oreo cookie and be like, but Devin weighs 197 pounds on fight night. Making all these fucking fake ass pictures of a uh, 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 Photoshop and Devin making Devin look like he's 200 plus pounds. Oh man, this Devin just posted this on IG. Lies. And then you'll go to his IG and the picture's nowhere around. But you guys are lying because you fucking hate him. Hate him. You hate him. Because everything about Devin is a threat to the status quo. Everything. Devin is a threat to the status DHP is a threat to the status Bill Haney is a threat to the status quo conglomerate is a threat that's why you hate Devin that's why the 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 machine the machine behind the conversation the machine behind the narratives the machine behind all this is is pushing out these fucking uh these let's get these interviews with coach Kenny Let's get these interviews with coach, with coach this guy, coach that guy, whoever we can get on these, on these, on these YouTube pages. Let's get them on there, whoever they are, so that we can shit on Devin. Let's get them on there. Let's get interviews with motherfucking Richard Hitchison. Let's get interviews with uh, Coach Law Davis, who also just fucking vanished when Devin went to 140. But it's okay. Uh, let's get interview this guy. Interview whoever we can get to shit on Devin. Let's get them because the fucking machine, the machine. Is what's being fucked up. The machine is what's pushing the narratives to these fucking hater pages. Yeah, the machine is doing that. The machine got these. Oh well, listen. Uh, we gotta go at Devin. We gotta shit on Devin. Dev, Devin's, De Devin's about to take some more money from us, and we can't have that. So you know he's taking money from us. You know we 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 gotta do this, and we the ones gotta do this, and we the ones that gotta be in this. It's gotta come through us. As long as it comes through us, then we can trickle down to everybody else. Trickle down economics don't work. Except for boxing. <laughs> Except for boxing. That, that's where it works. It works in boxing and with the richest motherfuckers in the world. That's where trickle down works because then they can decide how much they trickle down to you. And that's exactly what happens in the sport of boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these networks are willing to put up 20, 30, 40 million dollars for a fight. Well, I'm going to tell the fighter because he's not in the meeting. Hey, man, I got 10 million dollars for you. I got 15 million. They gave me 40, but I got 15 for you. Yeah, so let's break this 15 up between you and your opponent. Do you guys really believe that works only put up $7.5 million for Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis? Do you guys abs do you guys fucking believe this? That all they put up, that's all the network put up a guarantee. Two networks, the zone and fucking uh, and 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 uh uh ES uh, Showtime, the zone and showtime only put up $7.5 million. But they gave Canelo $365 million. They gave Deontay a hundred million. You guys really believe that the zone only was gonna put up seven point? Don't worry, don't worry. We'll speak. We'll we'll get on that a little bit later. We'll get on that a little bit later. I'll got. I'll dive into it a little bit. Later. You guys hate Devin Haney. You fucking hate that man. You absolutely hate him. You want Devin gone. Because the machine, the man behind the curtain, the, the people spinning y'all, pulling y'all fucking strings in y'all backs and fucking uh, uh, sp uh, spinning the pedals on that bike and got y'all motherfuckers just like. 
like a fish out of water. Yeah, the machine behind that. Devin and DHP. Bill, Devin, and DHP cut into their check. Yeah, Dil, Bill, Devin, and DHP cut into their funds, cut into their say. You can't have them cut. Can't nobody cut into their cut. You can't get my cut. You can get that nigga's cut, but you can't get my cut. Yeah, so we got to push the narrative on them. We got to get them the fuck out of the sport. They don't need me. They don't need me to trickle down money on them. Oh, hell no. They got to go. They don't need me to trickle down my conversation. To, to uh, They don't need me to say uh, I am there, this, there, that. They don't need me to put them on the pound for pound. They don't need me. They don't need me. Oh, they got to go. They got to go. And you stupid fucking guppy ass sheep ass niggas. Y'all run around here listening to the motherfuckers that are paid by the machine that wants them gone. Y'all are lost. You're absolutely lost. And you don't want to be found. You're fine being lost. You're absolutely fine. You're, you're comfortable in these fucking bushes, which are these woods, with your eyes closed, just walking around into trees. You're comfortable walking around, bang, face first into this tree, bang, face first. You're just fine. You're comfortable. It, there, you're, there's a sense of comfort right there with your eyes just closed, just walking around. And when I tell you guys, open your fucking eyes, look at the truth. It's right there. You fight me. Oh, you're only telling the truth because you're getting paid by Bill. Which I'm not, and I hope I am very soon. <laughs> I hope I am. Oh, you're you're only you're only telling the truth because they you went to dinner with them. So if I'm only telling the truth because they're paying me, or if I'm only telling the truth because I went to dinner, then what are y'all doing? Y'all are lying for free. <laughs> you're lying for free. Oh no, I'm not lying, BF. I'm not lying. I'm just stretching the truth. The truth, it, it didn't break. I just stretched it. Listen, there's black and there's white, but I'm in the gray area. That's a color too, BF. It's not a lie. I'm in the gray area. Pathetic, man. Y'all fucking hate Devin. You absolutely, and you don't even know why you hate him. You don't even know why. You have no idea why. No clue. You have no clue why you hate Devin. No clue. I'll ask you motherfuckers why you hate him and you'll be, oh, because he'd be capping. Well, and, then, and now I'll say cap about what? Then you'll be like, well, it really ain't, it's really not Devin. It's really Bill. Bill be capping. Bill be capping. And about what? Oh, and they said they were staying at uh, 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 135 for the rest of the full year. Okay, so when were they supposed to leave? They left in December. When were they supposed to leave? December 31st? They left in mid-December. When were they supposed to fucking leave? They stayed the whole fucking year. When were they supposed to leave? Oh, no, they were supposed to stay there and, and fight Shakur. But he turned it down. He wanted more money. Shakur wanted more money. Oh, uh, but, but, I mean, just, he, I mean, he could have just stayed there and let the WBC tell him what he had to give him. Like, <laughs> What the fuck? What? You fucking hate that man. You fucking hate Devin. You hate this man. I that y'all hate him. Y'all hate him. Floyd hates Devin because Devin will pass him. Devin has already passed him thus far in his career. He's already surpassed him. Already passed him. Already. Devin is in front of Floyd by a landslide. <laughs> right now. Right now. And it, the gap is only going to get wider. The closer Devin gets to the end of his career, the farther the gap between Devin and Floyd is going to get. Devin's in the front right now. Right now. The farther the gap is going to get. And the more hate y'all are going to hate on for. Floyd wasn't hated this early in his career. Man, Floyd was beloved this early in his career. Floyd didn't get hate until he fought motherfucking Oscar De La Hoya. When he fought De La Hoya, then the hate came because then y'all that he 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 beat y'all Golden Boy, and yeah, that's the guy that y'all wanted to never lose the rest of his life. Yeah, that's who Floyd beat. So then you just hated Floyd because he beat your Golden Boy. Devin has been hated, and he didn't even fight Tank. He's been hated just for trying to fight him for years. He was hated for trying to fight Lomachenko, hated for trying to fight Tiafimo Lopez. All these guys avoided him. All of them ducked him. 
Mikey Garcia ducked him. Adrian Broner ducked him. Robert Easter ducked him. Richard Comey ducked him. And the list goes on and on. They all ducked this man. And he's hated because he tried to fight them. Insane. <laughs> Fucking insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. That's why y'all hate him. That's why. You hate that man because he's a threat to the status quo. You hate that man because he will beat your favorite fighter. Yeah, that aura of invincibility your favorite has will get exposed badly and y'all know it. Which is why y'all telling me about weights and why y'all telling me about this and telling me about that. Because you know he cannot fuck with Devin. You know that. You know Tiafimo cannot fuck with Devin, which is why that man ran out of the whole division and then got the WBO Super Bowl so he don't have a mandatory until 2025. And nobody cares because you hate Devin. You don't want Devin's success. You want Devin's failure. Devin's failure is your success. Motherfuckers running around here talking about, oh, uh, Devin, I told y'all Devin ain't going to fight nobody at 140. I told y'all. The fuck you talking about? He just got there. Motherfucker's telling me, oh man, he ain't never gonna fight no Regis. Devin's scared of Regis. The very first fight he fights when he gets there is Regis. Devin will never fight no Gary Antoine. Gary Antoine beat them. Devin. Gary Antoine, stop him. He'll do this, do that. Devin says, what, what does he want? Nigga says he got bigger fish to fry. Y'all blame Devin for that. Nigga said he got bigger fish to fry. The fuck you mean you got bigger fish to fry? What are you talking about? Okay, do you want to fight for the WB strap? Nah, I'm going a different road. Do you want to fight Regis? Regis ain't fucking with me. He, what about Subiao? Man, Subiao ain't ready for me. Then what the fuck you doing then, Gary? What are you doing, bro? If Regis ain't fucking with you, Subiao ain't ready, and, and, and the WBA belt, you're going a different direction, then what the fuck do you want? Because it damn sure ain't Tiafimo Lopez. What are you going to say? I want Tio, and then sit there and say, you know, sh uh, Shorty on the other side of the street, though. Shorty running, he on the other side of the street. Bro, you had two, three motherfucking fighters that was right there that was willing to fight you. Plus Devin. The motherfucker said, what do you want? What does Gary want? Motherfucker's going to tell me, well, he, not right now. The fuck you mean not right now? You motherfuckers telling me he, he's ducking Gary. He's ducking Gary. Devin running from Gary. Motherfucking Gary ain't say shit yet. Devin been at 140 for how long now? Is Gary even fighting? Is the nigga still fighting? He hasn't said anything. That man was a pawn on your table to hate on Devin. Nothing more, nothing less. Which is why y'all don't give a fuck about that nigga right now. I don't see y'all niggas running around here trying to do interviews with Gary Antoine, asking him what's up with him. I don't see Gary Antoine on any of these big ass pages talking about what's going on with him, shawty. I don't see, I don't see nothing. Where he at? Y'all hate that man. Hate Devin. You absolutely hate him. When you hate that man with a passion. Motherfuckers be all in my comments, goofy ass niggas, tunnel vision, all these goofy ass niggas. Nigga, you a mark. Oh, Devin, why we don't want Tank to fight a 168 pounder? We don't want that. The Tank weighed 152 when he fought Leo Santa Cruz, but you wanted that. Well, tell Tank to fight Charlo then. Tell Tank to fight Charlo. Tell Tank to fight Jermel Charlo. Why can't Tank fight Boots? Why can't Tank fight uh, Terrence Crawford? He weighed more than both of them when he fought Leo Santa Cruz. Why can't he fight them? And that was Leo. So just imagine what he weighed when he fought Mario Barrios. With Leo Santa Cruz, he weighed 152 pounds on fight night. 152. Niggas just keep glazing over that, though. Keep moving around that. So he can fight uh, Boots or he can fight motherfucking Terrence Crawford. He can fight Errol Spence right now. All three of those fights are bigger than motherfucking Isak Pitbull Cruz rematch or El Rio. But I'm sure you guys ain't going to do that. Because you niggas is marks. Oh man, he's so little tank, so small. Such a small guy, such a tiny little guy. So fragile. He's so fragile. He can only make 135. So tiny and fragile. Man, you niggas is pussy, bro. And y'all hate Devin. And you have no idea why you hate Devin. You just hate Devin. But I know why. Because he exposed all of y'all. And your favorite fighter, BFTB. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC.